Hello everyone, back to you into today's first video, doing the 5 day forecast, so as always on a Wednesday we have a detailed look at the weather for the next f uh, 5 days, which takes us through to uh, Monday next week. So we've had this very hot, humid weather over the past few days, but it has now gone Cooler air has moved in from off the Atlantic. We've turned on the Atlantic air conditioning that uh, keeps us uh, cooler during the uh, summer. So it feels much more comfortable out there uh, today. And the coming five days is going to have uh, a fairly fresh feel generally. Showers, particularly in the north and west. A lot of dry weather though in the south and southeast. Still no real sign of a protracted spell of wet weather for the southern part of the country. The north will be... Uh, more unsettled. Some quite heavy rain will clip into the far southeast uh, tomorrow, um, but that's going to be fairly limited uh, in nature. As you get through to the end of the weekend, we've got a complex area of low pressure across the country that will bring quite a lot of wet weather to the north and east, but ahead of it, we could draw up some quite warm air actually for a time on Sunday into the southeast. Uh, it won't last all that long, but it could get a little bit warmer again in the far southeast on Sunday. I'll check for everything that's going on uh, right now. Just say that today's second video will be with you this afternoon on the homepage, and that's going to have a look at the weather for uh, the next week to 10 days. We'll probably include the Bayesian Climate Centre for the next 40 days in that as well. So we begin by having a look at the radar picture from the Weather Outlook, and you find the link to the Weather Outlook on the links page. Uh, lots of dry weather across central and eastern parts of the country. It's been a nice morning, plenty of sunny spells, but with a fresh feel. In the north and west, though, uh, more showers there, so some quite heavy showers through Scotland, a few coming down into northern Ireland. Uh, a few running down this uh, northwestern side of the country into Wales and southwestern parts of England too. You see some bright, some quite bright colours mixed in there, indicating that there are a few uh, heavy showers mixed in with um, uh, with some of those showers, some uh, some downpours uh, in the west and the northwest. But as I say many central and east areas have been dry through the morning. Here's today's toxic pressure chart. We've got low pressure dominating up to the north of Scotland. We're bringing in this showery uh, westerly wind, and it's also a cooler wind as well, because the air is heading in from off the northern Atlantic. So, for much of the Midlands, southeastern England, it's going to be a mainly dry afternoon with sunny spells. There might be a road shower here and there, but uh, plenty of dry and fine conditions in the southeast. We'll have the showers in the west. They'll probably get uh, more lively through parts of southwest England, Wales, and up to northern England through the course of this afternoon. It's going to be some quite heavy downpours there, possibly just getting into the north and the west Midlands as well. Uh, going further north of that to Scotland and Northern Ireland, yes, sunny spells and showers will be coming through, maybe easing a little bit uh, in intensity later on this afternoon. Temperatures are still very warm in the southeast, so central London, for example, could be up to 25 degrees this afternoon, that's 77 Fahrenheit, it's around 7 or 8 degrees down on yesterday's temperatures, but it's still a bit warmer than average for uh, early August. It takes a long time to get the heat out of the towns and the cities when it's been hot for so long. Uh, so still very warm in the southeast, but come out into the countryside and more generally across the country, we're going to see temperatures ranging from around 15 to say 23. 23 is about average at 73 Fahrenheit. Overnight tonight, there's just a little weather system beginning to push up from the south uh, into the southeastern part of the country. So uh, by the end of the night, we may get some crowd and showery bursts of rain heading into the south coast, into the far southeast of uh, England. The rest of the country will see the showers fading away quickly this evening. They'll die back to northern and western facing coast. Uh, many places will uh, have a dry night with a mix of clear spells and a variable cloud. Temperatures will range somewhere from around, say, 7, uh, which is quite cool, quite a cool uh, night up in the northwestern part of the country. So 7 degrees is our, uh, is our low to around 17 across parts of East Anglia, South East England. So still quite a warm and humid night in the extreme uh, southeastern corner. Over night into tomorrow, we'll see that rain gathering in the southeast. So parts of East Anglia, South East England, will see outbreaks of showery rain, particularly through the morning. So that could be quite heavy. It'll move out into the North Sea through the course of Thursday afternoon. Uh, many other parts of the country will stay uh, dry through the Midlands, up into eastern parts of England, plenty of 
dry weather coming through there. And then we'll go further northwest, and we still close this area with low pressure, so we'll have more showers across parts of western Scotland, Northern Ireland, northwest England, probably down uh, to Wales and southwestern parts of England too. Temperatures tomorrow will be ranging uh, from around 15 to 23 degrees again, so once more not too far from average, feeling fairly uh, fresh. Under that more persistent rain in the southeast, temperatures will probably only be around 18 or 19 degrees. But of course, once that clears, temperatures will lift up a little bit. Heading into Friday, we've got this very transient ridge of high pressure building in from off the Atlantic, ahead of this next area of low pressure in the Atlantic Ocean. So we still have enough uh, sort of low pressure to produce showers for Scotland and eastern parts of England, and some of them could be quite heavy. There's a risk of a crack of thunder across the northeastern parts of Scotland. But the rest of the country will, will actually have a lot of dry weather on Friday uh, with those sunny spells coming through once again. Just a few scat, uh, scattered showers here and there. Temperatures, again, not too far from average at around 15 to 23 degrees. Moving into Saturday, we've got low pressure heading in from off the Atlantic. This could bring quite a wet day to uh, central and northern parts of the country. We'll start off with rain mainly confined to Northern Ireland and probably Irish Sea Coast. Otherwise, a, meet, a reason about a dry weather through the morning. But through the afternoon, clouds will thicken. And uh, Scotland, Northern Ireland, Northern England and Wales will turn cloudy and wet through the course of Saturday afternoon. And some of that rain will actually be quite heavy and persistent on the much of the day once it sets in. Especially across Scotland and Northern Ireland and probably down into northwestern England as well. That leaves much of the Midlands, central, southern, southeast England mainly dry. There will be quite a lot of cloud around after the sunny spells in the morning. It will probably get cloudier through the afternoon. The best of any sunshine is likely to be in that extreme southeastern corner. Temperatures tomorrow could reach around 25 degrees. That's 77 Fahrenheit. Temperatures on Saturday, I should say, could reach 25 degrees, 77 Fahrenheit in the centre of London. But under that persistent cloud and rain, probably no better than around 12 to uh, 16 degrees. Really quite cool. And um, dare I say it, a tad autumnal in the north and the west on Saturday. And then we've got low pressure over the country on Sunday, but ahead of it we are drawing up some warmer air into the southeast again. So for East Anglia and South East England, probably a fair amount of dry weather and some spells of very warm uh, sunshine possible on Sunday. Might lift temperatures close to 30 degrees again in the extreme southeastern corner that's around 86 Fahrenheit but from the Midlands northwards those temperatures will be a lot cooler just into the upper teens to low 20s we'll have uh, wet weather across Scotland through the morning that'll clear northwards and then another band of cloud and showery rain will be spreading erratically southwards and eastwards with this area of low pressure through the course of the day. So big ranging temperatures, 30 degrees is possible in that extreme southeastern corner. Most places seeing temperatures sort of low 20s Celsius in the far northwest of Scotland and down to Northern Ireland. Actually really quite cool there with temperatures struggling to get to around 13 or 14 Celsius. And then we're into Monday. We end the five-day forecast period with low pressure over the top of the country. So you can expect sunshine and showers, really. Some of the showers could be heavy with a risk of hail and thunder. They'll be fairly slow moving as well. Temperatures will be reasonably warm, so not too far from average, uh, ranging from around 16 to 24 degrees Celsius. Finally, just having a look at charts from Weather Outlook. We've got showers in the north and the west today, but the south and the southeast gets a mainly dry day with sunny spells. Uh, wet weather clipping into that southeastern corner tomorrow. Otherwise, showers in the north and west and elsewhere. A fair amount of dry weather. Showers in the north and the east on Friday. The south getting plenty of dry conditions. Wet weather across central and northern parts of the country on Saturday. The south will be dry, but quite a lot of cloud. Uh, Sunday sees a band of showery rain heading erratically southwards and eastwards, becoming briefly very very warm for a time ahead of it in the extreme southeast. And then by Monday, we're into a regime of sunshine and showers. Some of those showers could be quite heavy with the risk of hail and thunder. 
And we will extend out beyond the five-day forecast period for today's second video update coming up this afternoon. So, in summary, we're looking at a more changeable period coming up. But that said, there will be a lot of dry weather in the south and the southeast, to be honest. Uh, showery conditions in the north, probably wet in the central and northern parts of the country on Saturday. Uh, briefly very warm in the southeast on Sunday, but otherwise temperatures will actually be cooler than they have been not too far from average. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.